Hey everyone, UEBS2 Hub here, and in this fight, we have a heck of a battle in that we've got 5 million zombies versus a lonesome nuclear Sherman. That's right, this is a mega Sherman of epic proportions that even though nuclear shells and nuclear weapons are not yet available in UEBS2, it is something that you can kind of simulate by messing with some of the game files. So that said, or at least the character customization, that said, let's get into it. <laughs> and you can see exactly what I mean right here. Each shot will just wipe out. It's like a crop circle. It just clears a whole circle around it. And I've already killed 200,000 with this crazy Sherman. It's got, I think, around 1,000 splash range. It's got 10 attack speed. It's got, oh, like the, the largest attack range you can get, the most impact. That it, Look at this. Wherever those shells land, it just annihilates. So, while this is obvious, it's going to go to, to one victor, one group and not the other, even though it's one single unit versus five million. It's really crazy to see exactly how this plays out. Like, just look at this. They are flying. And it's funny because, like, the, this tank, you know, I play a lot of War Thunder. I would suggest that you check it out. Check out the War Thunder YouTuber Tankenstein. That's also me. And uh, I've got around 44,000 subscribers on that channel as of right now. But if you look at this, it's just going over the bodies. Like, it's nothing. It's just like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Half of these things are dead. I want to get back in this and fire a few shots. But, like, you can see off in the distance, too. I'm probably letting a few get too close here. It's difficult to say exactly how far I should be firing these things. Or even, like, what the exact range is. But I only have 2 million of these zombies left. And even though obviously it's clearing them out very quickly. Is it quickly enough? I don't know. Oh man. It's just so fun. I would highly recommend. And that's at, um, that's at 10 attack speed. So it's pretty much semi-automatic at that point. Not fully auto of course. It's not one of them dang dong fully auto Shermans. But in my opinion... This is just about as fun. And in fact, actually, you could take the fully auto Sherman and just nuke it out. I feel like that would be a ton of fun. And uh, something that a lot of people would probably enjoy. I'm going to take a screenshot here. Oh, man. Look at this. It just looks so cool. 1.7 million still alive. Like I said, at this point, it's pretty much, um, you know, the first few shots of this, uh, the Sherman kills everything that it, you know, in the radius, it kills. But as there are fewer and fewer zombies to kill, of course, uh, there's fewer opportunities to kill things. So as you can see, it only has a semicircle here that it could kill, whereas if it shot... Right there, that's one of the last few full kill shots. Even that second one was not a full kill shot. So it's pretty interesting to see how this actually works out. But it almost kind of looks like termites just flying through the air. Like, look how high these things are. Holy guacamole. It's just absolutely absurd in the best way possible. This is... So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys want me to do more commentary-based gameplay? Do you want me to come up with crazy, zany things like this? I want to know. You know, this is sort of my thing. 
Um, you know, I don't like making those 30-minute long matches, 20-minute long matches, because they're just a little bit much, you know. I mean, I get it. They have some merit. They have some value to them. But, you know, even if it's a five-minute long match, why not? You know, I mean, like, some of the craziest, most fun things are done in short matches, you know. Like, having uh, 500,000 shotgun soldiers versus 2 million zombies, I'm sure it's cool. Don't get me wrong. But that would take forever when you could just scale it down and you can make 50,000 zombie or 50,000 so shotgun soldiers versus 2 million or like you know 200,000 zombies or 250,000 you know you can scale it down and get a fairly fairly similar though not entirely similar result of course uh, when it comes to zombies the more the merrier and oftentimes they start really working after a substantial amount have died because you start seeing body walls accumulate, which then makes it tougher for ranged opponents to really get a beat on killing numerous of them at a single time or getting good range on them. But that's beside the point. Um, you know, I, I don't really like doing these crazy long drawn out matches. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I'm very interested to hear, um, you know, just let me know, you know, and I'll, I'll try my best to, to kind of. Do whatever matches you guys might want to see. And uh, if you like my commentary, I'll try to do more commentary. If not, eh, you know what? I'll, I'll do it in lieu of having no commentary or very little. So, again, either way, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please, of course, like, com ooh, this is cool. This is cool. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, of course. And, uh... Either way, I'm going to have fun blasting the rest of these zombies, but uh, hope you guys have a great day, great night, great whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone. This is fun.